I'm gonna go in three round increments. Well, I'll do the first round and measure just because. Now, just a reminder here, let's get a measurement. We are at 52, we are at 48, that's four degree increase. All right, we're hitting 56 a little bit. Actually getting 63 in the center. 69, 47 at the muzzle of the suppressor, 67 in the center, blast chamber 58. Looks like the center is actually getting the hottest. All right, so we're gonna do three round increments now. Ninety one, ninety two, the blast chamber. We're at one one three in the center. Forty five, fifty at the muzzle. Our barrel. I can't be right. It's three more rounds. We're at 125 blast chamber. 148 in the center. All right, that was three, three more. One forty two. 147 at the blast chamber. We're hitting 188 in the center. Hitting 100. I think we're getting a reflection over here or something. 80 degrees, 100. Three more. I'm gonna shoot for 100. One seventy five blast chamber, two oh seven center, two oh eight. All right, one thirty one at an uh, one twenty five. So when we hit this last baffle, it drops like a rock. We're only at seventy eighty here, but like the last baffle, which is about what I'm pointing at now. This is around 127, 130. But after that, where the threads and the solid aluminum end cap would be only 80 degrees right now. And the end cap itself is only measuring 74. Three more, 50. One, well, we got 180 originally there. Yeah, one, 180, still in the 180 area. I may have, there was a longer gap there. 226, 222. Now that last baffle area, we're at 140, 130. Yeah, 144, 139. And then threading, we're at 98, end cap 81. Three more. Now, obviously my times aren't exactly even here. All right, blast chamber area, 186, 200. There's a pretty large increase here, because again, same over here, we got solid aluminum, solid aluminum, threading, and then this is, you know, blast chamber area here. We're at 170, 200. All right, so we'll say 200 for the blast chamber here. Center. Not getting the 230 that I had last time. 250. 246. And then last baffles, 146. 103. Obviously quicker succession, but you know. you When you watch the whole video here, you can look. 200. Blast chamber, I'd say. 213, 214. Moving along. Hit 270 in the center, 272. 
Last baffle, we're getting 150, 133 to 150. And then when we get to the threaded area with the solid aluminum end cap, we're getting 120s, 115. Get to the end cap, we're at 100. Here we go. All right, we're getting, oops, 230, 250 blast chamber, 275, 292 in the center, 297 center. All right, last baffle, we're hitting 160, 160. It goes from 150 low, low 150s to low 160s across that last baffle. Hit the threads at 125, and our end cap is at 118. All right, so 240, 250 at blast chamber, 270, 290, 301, 308, 308 center high. We hit the last baffle, goes from we're going from 160 to 170 across that last baffle. Threaded area 137, end cap 132. Now, a quick thing, let me finish the mag actually. There's only two there. All right, we're getting 254, 257 blast chamber. 250 to 260 blast chamber. Our center's hitting. We were hitting 300 before, so 302, 303. Well, we only shot two rounds, so. Well, we're still hitting 300. We go to our last baffle here. We're going from 160s to 170s. And our end cap's at 140.